hope their passcode isn't one, two, three, That's right? What I was thinking. When they're like, we use it for everything. I'm like, well, The I garage mean, store, I the know. phone. <laughs> now we know, yes. Mm, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, a nice New Year's Day. Nice way to kick off 2024. Uh, yes, a, a great start to the brand new year as we are seeing the bright blue sunny skies once again return to the Portland area as we take a live look over downtown on this afternoon of the first of the year. 47 degrees is where we currently sit, but you'll notice as we work our way through the rest of the afternoon and evening hours, those clouds, they will continue to increase as we prepare for the first rain of the year, which arrives tomorrow. As far as the cloud coverage goes, though, right now, if you're traveling south along I-5, that's where you'll run into just a bit of a patchy fog and a few clouds overhead before all of it starts to fill its way back into the valley locations. Now, the month of December, I want to take a moment to kind of glance back at it because it was one for of note, I should say, as the Portland area saw over eight inches, almost nine inches. That gives us a surplus of almost three inches for the month of December and that also came with record breaking heat for our average mean temperature 2023's December came in second just behind 1950s 46.4 degrees so either way it shakes out it was abnormally warm as we saw 26 days above the average temperature of 46 so that will be going down into the history books as we prepare for the brand new month of January. Now that's where our average daytime high temperature is very similar to that of December 47 for the high 36 for the low. But this is our third driest month just behind December and November averaging almost exactly five inches. But as we move through the month, we will slowly be tacking on a couple of extra degrees. So by the final day of January, 49 is our expected average daytime high temperature. Not necessarily the warm conditions we'd like to see out towards the high terrain. Mount Hood looking mighty fine on this Monday afternoon. 41 degrees out towards government camp right now, as we've seen very little in the form of snowfall over the past 24 hours for our ski resorts. The base layer still holding steady around 20 inches or so for many of us as we expect to see clear conditions for skiing tomorrow likely going to be a good day as the snow once again returns to Mount Hood and that comes with our snow elevation level dipping down to about 4500 feet. It goes even lower at about 3500 feet by the time we get into Wednesday and Thursday as we prepare for our next system to march its way on shore, increasing our rain potential. So we'll time it all out for you here with our future cast. The overcast skies increasing throughout the afternoon and evening today that will lead to a dry overnight time frame, but by tomorrow morning about six o'clock when the first few raindrops will start to fall along the I-5 corridor. This is a snapshot of just after lunchtime. Those yellows and oranges a good indication of heavier downpours and the blue. Of course, that is the snow that will once again return as we keep the persistent rain going through much of the afternoon hours on Thursday or I should say Tuesday and then eventually into Wednesday as well. But look at all of that beneficial snow, a great sight to see once again return to our future cast as our rain gauges over the next 48 hours will near about a quarter of an inch for the Portland area, just about the same out along the coast. Now for today, slightly on the cooler side, but closer to what we should be for this time of year at about 48 degrees. The clouds, they will be increasing. We stay dry tonight as we fall back to about 40 degrees, but it will be cloudy out there with east winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our seven day forecast shows that the rain returns Tuesday. It continues in into Wednesday. Then we slowly dry things out by the time we get into Thursday with those daytime highs hovering into the upper 40s. 49 is kind of the favorite temperature there as we expect to see another wet weekend to head for. So a great way to start off 2024 with dry mm -hmm. sunny skies and then the rain returns tomorrow. Well, you know, uh, as it should. As I guess, it should. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back. Stick around.